Hello guys, I am here with Jackal Gold Kick, and today is a collab discussion video on what we like about being on YouTube and what we dislike about being on YouTube. This is my part. Let's start with the pros. I like the fact that we have communities and friends like the Wheat Club, the Side Hustlers, and the Spear Dude community for example. Who cares about likes and views? I don't think anyone should. Another thing I like is the fact that we get to express our creativity, opinions, thoughts, interact, stream, and have fun. Why? Because YouTube has always been a hobby and should be a hobby. Now with the cons, what I don't like about YouTube is the headquarters bad decisions. For example, remember when they removed the dislike button? Yeah, that was Neil Moen's fault. He may be nice as a person, which I understand. But his business decisions suck just as bad as David Zaslav's business decisions. Well, at least we have the dislike button extension from the Chrome Web Store. Ha 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 ha. I also remember when YouTube removed the direct messages feature. Why did they do that? It was such a cool concept. As for the subscriptions tab, I was sad and angry at first, but nowadays I'm not anymore. Why? Because there are ways to bring back the subscriptions tab. Just do what I do. Like this. And there's YouTube TV as well. They have the subscriptions tab here. So yeah, there is no need to worry about the subscriptions tab anymore. One final thing I don't like about being on YouTube, is drama starters and bad people. I will not say names. But they suck big time. As for Katie I am neutral over him now. But as for the others like the MeTV2 Hoons hater, they don't deserve another chance. And that's the pros and cons. Thanks for watching my part. Now it is Jackal Gold Kick's turn. What's up YouTube, it's Jackal Gold Kick, and I'm here with the Funny Guy 9000, and we're gonna be doing a video collaboration talking about the pros and cons of YouTube and being a YouTuber itself. So when it comes to the pros and cons, I have a list here. I'm gonna talk about the good of it and talk about the bad of it. So when it comes to the good, first thing I'll talk about is it's fun making videos to this day. I've been on YouTube for going on 11 years now, technically. I started in like 2013, August. It's fun to make videos and create content and be passionate about things you talk about. It can be real fun to do that. And there's, you know, potential that it could lead to a business type of thing where you can get advertised and make some money from it, which I have been able to do. Granted, I have, you know, I feel like I have more to go in terms of to the point where I can actually just live off it for good. But, you know, um, it can be fun making videos on YouTube and, you know, it, it can be enjoyable. So that's definitely one of the positives and one of the pros of being on YouTube and being a YouTuber. Uh, second thing I'm going to talk about is interacting with subscribers and the fans. That's a pretty cool thing as well. That's a pretty fun thing as well to have people follow your YouTube channel, follow your videos. They comment on your videos. They talk to you when you interact with them. I try to reply to every single comment. I think that's one of the positives of being a smaller YouTuber somewhat is that you're able to respond to everybody. Whereas the bigger you get, it gets harder to get back to everybody. So I try to respond to every single comment because if I'm able to do it, then I'm going to do it. And it can be cool interacting with the subscribers and fans that watch your videos and follow your channel and they like what you do. And, you know, it can be cool to interact with them. You can meet some cool people and they could be from all over the world. There could be people from the UK, people from India, people from Russia, all, all kinds of places that people could be watching your videos. Um, so that's another positive and pro to being a YouTuber and being on YouTube. Another positive, the third one is meeting people. Now, I haven't met a lot of these people in real life yet, but I have met a lot of cool people online because of being a YouTuber. You know, a lot of people from Deem the King, Acid Roots, Spirit of 21, Flame 97, The Prison Meddler, uh, one of the viewers who used to watch me back in the day, Felicia Mello, Slow Mo Joe, Zach Attack Studios, you know, the list goes on. You know, there's a lot of people out there, but I've I was able to meet a lot of cool people 
on YouTube because of being a YouTuber. You know, if I never became a YouTuber and made videos, I wouldn't probably know half of these people or have never even had a conversation with any of them. You know, I'm doing a bunch of collaborations and linking people up and getting YouTubers together in a video is also something else to add to this. So, you know, being able to meet people, that's been a cool thing about YouTube. So that's definitely another pro and another thing I like about being a YouTuber is the people that I've gotten to meet. And then the last one I'll talk about, another pro of being a YouTuber is it could be a potential source of income and making money. There's a lot of people that have took off on YouTube and have, you know, had a full career on YouTube where they can just make a living off it, just making videos and that's how it pays the bills and stuff. And, you know, I am monetized myself on YouTube. I got the merch thing going and, you know, paid requests. When some people do do it, it's appreciative, but you know, my content is monetized and it's, it's nice that I'm even in that position. Granted, I need to get to higher exposures in terms of like views and attention to even make more than the little I have made here and there to like be able to make a living off it full time. But it's still nice that I even been in the position to even get monetized in the first place and even ever make like a hundred bucks, you know, it's been great. So that's another cool thing about being a YouTuber is it could potentially, now I'm not saying you should get into YouTube and make videos slowly because just, just because, oh, I want to get monetized, I'll make money because you're not going to enjoy it and you're going to hate it and you're probably going to give up within a year or two years. You know, I got into YouTube for fun and all that stuff, but it, it is, you know, as time went on, this is one of the goals and it is an enticing thing, but I still do enjoy making videos at heart. It's like a, it's like a passion inside of me that I don't think will ever fully die. It's just one of those things I like doing because it's, you know, the main passion of my life, kind of like, um, someone that has a career in their life of what they enjoy doing, whether it be music or playing sports or making art or whatever it is, YouTube's my thing. But the money making thing is a nice bonus. And uh, it's another pro of YouTube, that's for sure. You know, it's it's nice to be able to get to a point where you can make a living off of what you enjoy doing. It could be a cool thing. Now, I'm gonna get into the cons, the bad things about being a YouTuber, being on YouTube. And there's some here I'll talk about. First thing is trolls. Now, I used to be a troll myself back in the day, but I feel like I have some excuses for that. I was a teenager, and I feel like at that age, you're more immature, doing dumb shit. But there are people who are trolls at adult age, which is pretty pathetic. But trolls, that's definitely one of the cons. Pretty annoying to deal with those trolls that impersonate people, impersonate you. You know, they might try to flag your video, or they'll, you know, come after your stream and say a bunch of dumb shit in there. And, you know, you can't fully get rid of those people. You can only have moderators, you know, get rid of them in the comments and, you know, do things like that. But yeah, trolls, they definitely can be annoying, especially if they're constantly showing up on streams of yours and in comments of videos. But they do help your channel in some way because they're coming to watch your stuff and give you view and stuff. But they're definitely one of the cons of being a YouTuber. And they can, they can be annoying to deal with, especially when you're streaming a lot. That's where they seem to show up the most, as I swear, is when you're live streaming. So yeah, that's that's one thing that does suck is the trolls. Yeah, another thing that sucks about being a YouTuber is copyright strikes. The whole copyright thing, that's a bad thing and a con to deal with. It's like, you know, I've dealt with that before where certain videos get copyright striked and then it affects your channel. Or if you get three copyright strikes, your channel is deleted. Or if you get two copyright strikes, you can't upload and then I can't remember exactly what happens if you get one copyright strike, but those suck to deal with because a lot of times they're not even justified, you know, like some of the copyright strikes I've gotten in the past. I remember I did a rant on a rapper. I won't even say the rapper just so I don't even get a flag for it just to make sure. But there was a rapper I ranted on back in the day. And no matter how many times I reposted the rant on other channels and Spirit of 21 even posted on his channel, it kept getting flagged by that asshole. He kept flagging that video, which is bullshit because there were plenty of other people on YouTube also ranting on the guy's music. It's like, so wait, you can come on YouTube and make music, but if we say we don't like your music or, you know, something, then you flag us? Like, that just seems a double standard to me, especially when other people get to shit talk his music, you know? It's like, come on. So the copyright strikes suck. I've, I've had copyright strikes for their videos. Like back when I had beef with BJ Swag, there was a copyright strike. Uh, I, I almost lost my channel in uh, 2018. Um, I remember I was going real hard in 2018, putting out a bunch of videos, and then I got 
a copyright strike and then like two of them and I had to private all my videos just to make sure I didn't get any more copyright strikes you know that now what was involved with that was a misunderstanding somebody thought I did something to them so they did something to my channel but me and that person are cool nowadays but just using it as an example but yeah copyright strikes do suck to deal with because it, it can make you unmotivated to make videos you know it really can because it's like you're you're building this thing up making videos being a youtuber and you got to deal with copyright strikes where your videos can get flagged down and a lot of times flagged for stupid reasons you know you use a clip of you know I, i've heard this from some movie reviewers they use a clip of a movie and get flagged or a copyright strike even though plenty of other youtubers do that or i know this youtuber that reviewed this movie terrifier 2 and i think because he used a picture of the movie they, the, the people who made the movie flagged his review down even though he had positive things to say about their movie. It's like, what the hell? So, copyright strikes suck. Copyright claims don't really bother me as much because at least the video can be up. You just can't make as much money or many, or you can't make really any money off of it. But I'd rather deal with a copyright claim than a copyright strike. Because copyright strikes, you know, you risk your channel getting deleted, you risk your videos being gone. They suck to deal with, you know. There can be some cases where Copyright strikes are justified, like if somebody's doxing someone or leaking their address or, you know, doing insane, crazy shit like that and being a being harmful to people and all that shit. But, you know, a lot of times copyright strikes are given out for bullshit and they suck to deal with. That's, that's another con and a bad thing of being a YouTuber. Another con and a bad thing of being a YouTuber is haters. Pretty much with anything in life, you know, there's haters to be around it. And I do my best not to talk about that on YouTube because I think it's kind of, I don't know, like I, I never really saw the, saw the, what do you call it? I just never saw the point in it because I don't know, like, cause it kind of shows you care about them a bit, but haters do suck to deal with, you know, people that hate you because they hate you, but then they follow your channel or they, you know, talk trash about you and they'll make hate videos on you and make diss tracks on you you know the, i won't name a name but there was somebody who uh made a diss track about me because of my rant video on icp you know the the, the hater part does suck um it really does you know it's it, it's it's definitely a bad side of youtube you know people that shit talk to you in the comments and you know make hate videos on you and you know talk trash but you know that's one of the things that comes with the territory of uh putting yourself out there unfortunately you know it's like a it's like a yin and a yang type thing basically but it still sucks to deal with but the best thing you can really do is you know not really pay any mind and focus on the people that do enjoy your stuff but yeah that's another con haters another thing that does suck and i would say it's kind of a two two-way thing so this is something else that happens from time to time with me that really sucks about being a youtuber sometimes you have a lack of interest and like an overall passion to do this and this comes in with another issue I want to talk about, which is low numbers, you know? There have been times in the past where I will get discouraged about doing YouTube and wanting to make videos because I'll look at the numbers and I'm like, I'm not really getting a lot of views, my subscribers aren't really all the way there, and for me, the amount of time I've been on YouTube, I feel like I should have a lot more views and subscribers than I do have, and there's times where that does bother me, where I get annoyed and I get discouraged and you know it can lead to a lack of interest and passion or you're just like screw this shit because you see the low numbers and you feel like you aren't growing you feel like you aren't getting anywhere on YouTube and um it can suck you know or sometimes you just don't feel like doing YouTube or being a YouTuber making any videos you know and it's it's like a and you know being a YouTuber is like a I feel like it's like a an infinity type machine if you're like really into YouTube I don't know how to word it's like a 24-7 thing you can't really switch it off like like what I basically mean by that I've heard Jack Morgan RLP say this basically what I mean by that is that you know creating videos making thumbnails whatever you're doing with YouTube you know you can't really switch it off you know you can't be like alright on the weekend I'm just not gonna do it I mean there's days maybe I didn't wear that the best way there's days where you don't do YouTube but it's like one of those things you can't switch off it's like a career you're passionate about I would say but that's another con is when you deal with, you know, getting discouraged because of the numbers and views, that can really suck, especially when you feel like you've made really good videos and you feel like that you've talked about things that a lot of people don't talk about, you know? Like, certain things on YouTube that don't make sense to me is like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into that later, actually. I'll throw that in here because I didn't write this on the list. Uh, but the next thing I'll talk about, yeah, that was another b bad con that sucks. So the next thing I'll talk about is uh, 
videos getting blocked. That's another thing, another con, a bad thing about being a YouTuber. It's annoying to deal with that when you put a video out and it gets blocked. I hate that. You know, I remember I recorded a reaction to Snow the Product song doing fine and I tried to put it on my channel and it was blocked. I'm like, really? I, I just, I think it's stupid that videos get blocked. I don't know why that's a thing. Like, like if I'm reacting to a video on YouTube, then why should it get blocked when it's already on YouTube? I don't, I don't understand it. You know, I could understand, you know, you making it to where I can't make money from their content. You know, like I've done some reactions to most vivid nightmares songs and I wasn't able to monetize those videos, but at least I could still be on YouTube at least. But videos get blocked is bullshit. Like the top 10 worst rappers video I did because I had a clip of a boogie with the hoodie song. It's been blocked in uh, two countries and it's just like, damn, it feels like I did all that editing for nothing for that video. So videos getting blocked sucks because a lot of times it's petty shit. Like you use, like if you're a movie reviewer, you use clips and footage, or if you're talking about music on your channel and you use music type stuff, you get blocked for that. You know, there's been certain collabs that I've done with Spirit of 21 where certain things he's used like block the video. And it's just, it's just annoying that that happens on YouTube because I just don't really think it's justified in a lot of ways. Videos getting blocked. I think it's stupid because it makes it to where a lot of people can't see the videos that you're making so i hate that it's also happened with certain song uploads you know certain songs i tried to repost back on youtube like eminem song with jeezy and freddie gibbs talk to me somebody managed to get that on youtube but when i tried to do it i kept getting blocked and i'm like this song is never going to come out umg let it be on youtube gcm and freddie gibbs are never gonna put this song on officially just let it be on youtube stupid that's another thing i don't like another con and a bad thing of being a YouTuber. And I guess this could go with people that are popular in general in any type of social media presence, public place, is doxing. This is another con and a bad thing. Doxing can suck. Now, thankfully, this has never happened to me, but doxing is something that can suck, where people basically get their address leaked and it gets thrown out there to the public. And people are now exposed for where they live at. That's not a good thing, especially if you're a really big person on YouTube, you know, you don't know who or what or what's gonna show up at your place now that everybody knows where you live. You know, that, that stuff isn't cool. So that's another thing that sucks about being a YouTuber is the doxing thing. You can get your address leaked out there and dox. So that's another thing that sucks about YouTube, being a YouTuber, another con. I would say another con is, I feel like the YouTube algorithm can suck a lot of times. And I don't know if anybody really understands how the YouTube algorithm works because what I don't understand about the YouTube algorithm, and this is another con, is that there's videos I make that I don't know why YouTube don't recommend them to people I know exist out there. Like if I make videos about Blood on the Dance Floor, YouTube should be pushing those videos to all of Blood on the Dance Floor fans out there because they still have people that listen to their music and go back to songs. So they should be getting recommended videos I make about BOTDF. That's never made sense to me. Or when I did top five Deuce songs, that video wasn't get pushed at all to really any Deuce fans. Like, what's going on here? I'm making videos. Like, there are a lot of YouTubers talking about Blood on the Dance Floor and the way I was doing it or Deuce. So it's like, why are those videos not being pushed to those people? It don't make any sense to me. Like, and I can go with any kind of content. Like, certain content people make, it's like it doesn't get pushed, you know? And I feel like the YouTube algorithm needs to have... I remember someone mentioning that YouTube algorithm should have like a day or some type of thing where they let smaller channels get a shine in the algorithm. I think the YouTube algorithm a lot of times can suck without certain videos don't get pushed. And sometimes videos that have some flaws in them, like my video about why memes suck, it had no editing, thumbnail looking back is pretty trash to be honest. But that video got a thousand views or more compared to the video I did with Kadeem the King, which was top our top favorite video games. That video had great editing, really good thumbnail for my friend Druid. That video didn't do near, nowhere near as well as the memes suck video. It got like two or 300 views. So, the algorithm is another con, another bad thing to deal with. I would say another con and a bad thing to deal with when it comes to being a YouTuber is, I suppose I would throw uh, swatting in here um, because it's like, you know, people that stream, they can get, you know, FBI and they can get, uh, you know, people called on them for that shit. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for my list and things I have to say when it comes to the pros 
and the cons of being a YouTuber and you know being on YouTube. That's pretty much all I have to say in my part of this video. Just some positives to list out and then some negatives to list out as well. Um, you know, the good and the bad of being a YouTuber basically. But um, that's all I gotta say on my part with this collab video with the funny guy 9000. Let us know in the comments what you think are the pros and the cons of being a YouTuber. And uh, shout out to Funny Guy 9000 for letting me be on his channel and you know have this collab be on his channel. But that's it for my part. Peace out.